killed him. I killed it. I freaking killed it. Last time we just did tidal wave and just we got stranded, but now... Ah, finally. No. Ah, so this is just the way to defeat him over and over and over again. Fine. <laughs> That's a good way to do it. <laughs> great, 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 great. More Breeze Mountain, by the way, the next part. Don't know where that is, though. More Breeze Mountain. I have actually no clue where it is. <laughs> no, seriously, I have no idea where the mountain is. It's a mountain, obviously. We have to get through, but... Mm. Alright. Well, we have to look for a mountain then. To... That's a cave, that's not a mountain. That's also technically not a mountain. <laughs> so we go this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. It's a forest. But what is this one? Oh, this is more Breeze Mountain. <laughs> Uh, found it. But is it in the end or near the? L you know what? I'll put myself here because I need to be here anyway. With care. So let's go to more Breeze Mount. Right. And before I do that. <laughs> because I just did the... F I finally killed it. So I'm gonna save. Quickly. Save! Save, 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 save! And right, now we have to find... The... Thing. Yeah. <laughs> And fine. Hero Shala Hala Hala. We found a twisted potato. Oh, this is the rare one. Okay. Oh, that's more Breeze Mountain. It's the rare one. Overkill. Well, he's about to get 46, which is fine. Look at has it. It's probably going to be like the the, the very very start, isn't it? Yeah. They're all dead. No, seriously, they're just all dead. Here we go. Here it is. Way. So this is the second altar. You think the stone will change again, like with the first altar? Probably. For what reason would the ancients leave behind su such messages for the people of the future? These are the people from way before even your ancestors, right, Julian? Maybe they had some sort of vision. If only we could meet them. Ask them ourselves. If hearing these messages from them make us feel that way, maybe that's what they're trying to do. Maybe they want to somehow talk to us across time. A Sprite Night Stone bringing people together across the ages. I kinda like that. Boom! Space. Life. Time. The birth of of creation, new concepts and ever-expanding possibilities, an age born from the flow of time, a world in which time has begun to move. The 
birth spread night transformed into the prosperity spread night a world in which time has begun to move so does that mean up until that point time stood still yes because you just put it still so I think it's actually you or it might be you in some way I'm not sure I get all this perhaps the world the ancients inhabited was one that we can't can't even imagine today I wish we could see what it was like. Anyway, one thing's for certain. The power in that stone seems to have increased again. Yes, it has. And now, the last thing we had to do was to go to Himcot something. I believe that's a small island. Two. Right, we'll do that after we talked with Kier's thing for his final sprint night. Sprint night, sprint night, sprint night, sprint night, sprint night. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Hidbury. Oh, so that's Hidbury. <laughs> Forgot that this was Hidbury. Hidbury. Let's go. Hello? Kier, is that really you? Hey, 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 long time no see. How you been? Were you not on your way to the Lost Lands? Well, yeah, but with everything that's happened, surely you do not mean to say you grew homesick. No, no, it's not that. It's just that we're going to be facing a pretty tough battle. So right now we're trying to see if we can find some more powerful Spreknet Stones. And this is the only place I know after all. Sprite Night Stones, you say? I am afraid all the ones found here grant no great powers. Right, yeah, um, sure. However, although I have no Sprite Night to give you, I may be able to introduce you to some powerful allies. Allies? They have arrived here not long ago and have been helping us repel the monsters. Anyway. It shall be far simpler if you meet them for yourselves. They should be by the Sprite Knight Pillar. Fair enough. On our way we go. To the Sprite Knight Powers. I wonder what it will be. Which powerful allies? Uh, hello, you sound like... Huh? Who are you people? Are you who Hyder was talking about, our new allies? Allow us to introduce ourselves. I am Sig, the eldest of us three sisters. I am Quatra, the second eldest. And... This is Thron, the youngest. So the youngest sister's pretty quiet, huh? Yeah, don't worry about her. She's got a fear of strangers. I never expected our new allies would be three sisters. Oh, I get it. You must be Kier. It's an honor to meet you, young hero. Hero? Me? We have heard about you from Hydor. Hodor, how you saved the village from great danger. Oh well, but me? A, a hero? I mean, I guess I helped out, but I didn't really do much. Ha! <laughs> Look at him getting all shy. You just be quiet, old man. Everyone, look out! Monsters! Hey, it's an invasion! Ugh, more of them? Don't worry, leave them to us! Uh, wow. Did you just... 
hit all three. All three of you hit one bird. Wow. <laughs> Damn, you girls are sure are strong. They hit one freaking bird. <laughs> they hit one freaking bird and suddenly they're strong. A perfectly synchronized attack. Just as one would expect from three sisters, I suppose. Y you three are... Are you rare bloods? You could tell, huh? You sure are sharp. We are indeed what the humans call rare bloods. Like the people of your village. However, we are not exactly the same. A subtype, if you will. Uh, a subtype? Our magic power is really strong, and it seems we live longer than you too. That was amazing, though. When Hydra said you were powerful allies, he wasn't joking. Yeah, well, monsters like that are no threat for us once we get serious. Why are you so serious? Thanks. I'm sure everyone in the village really appreciates your help. We are guests in our village. This is is the least we can do to repay you. Anyway, Hydra has asked us to patrol around here. We'd better have another look around and make sure no monsters have snuck in. Please excuse us. Um... Sure? Hey, listen everyone, I've got an idea. Will you hear me out? Sure, go ahead. Thanks! So what's this idea? Those three sisters, how about we get them to join the Sacrifices God? Join the Sacrifices God? Well, I guess it ain't a bad idea. They did seem pretty damn strong. They'd probably be a lot more help than any Sprite Knight's ever gonna be. I'm against it. Huh? Why? Time has been wound back all these times, and those girls were never part of the guard. Not once. That's my reason. Why does that matter? Gornak's the same, isn't he? This is the first time coming on this journey, right? Well, yes. Those girls are probably special, like Kronax. They're like our ultimate allies, sent here to help us accomplish our mission. When you put it like that, it does kind of sound like a good idea. Exactly, old man. I know it'll help our journey succeed. Well, I'm still against it, definitely. What about you, Kronax? Hmm. Hmm. I'm all for it. All right, I knew you'd say that, Kronax. You're a smart guy. Kronax, are you seriously suggesting this? I've already said that I'm against it. All right, let's go ask them now. Come on, no time to waste. Uh, first off, a turn up. Shut up. Secondly, most people are if, are favoring it, so why not? They probably won't join anyway, depending on whatever you choose. So it's, it's no big deal after all. He'll just give you a sprite night. Well, welcome back to Hidbury. Hmm, wonder where they are. They might be in the tent, though. Yeah. Aha! Here they are! Hi, it is here too! Perfect! Huh? Where's the youngest sister? I believe she returned to the Sprite Knight pillar after we finished patrolling. She seems to have taken quite a liking to it. Alright, oh, oh well. Say, we've got something we want to talk to you about. We too have something to talk to you about. From what I hear, it seems these girls know Thor. Tor. Tor? My brother Thor? Yeah? He saved us when we were captured by a group of cruel humans. He was a great guy. It was Thor who told us about this village too. When we learned of his death, we were all overcome with grief. I see. So what was it you wanted to say? Oh, right. Well, we were wondering if you three would join the Sacrifices God. Us? Join the Sacrifices God? Really? You want us coming along? 
You'd be very welcome. See? Kronex wants you to join us too, so how about it? If you'd be willing to help us, we'd very much appreciate it. If you would be so willing to have us join your car, then we shall do so happily. Really? So you'll come with us then? You got it, Master Kier. <laughs> Master Kier. No, 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 no. Sorry, but can I talk to you alone for a minute? Oh, sure. What did you want to talk about? The thing is, we've never traveled with other people before. We're happy to be of help, but I'm worried too. Oh, you don't need to worry. My companions are all great people. But they're humans, right? We've had nothing but bad experiences with humans. So up until now, we've never trusted anyone except each other. Well, sure, there are lots of bad humans, that's certainly true. But my companions aren't like that at all. They're different. I see, you see, really seem to trust them. With my life. I would be, wouldn't be traveling with them if I didn't. I trust them completely, and you can trust them too, don't worry. I mean, sure, Kronox wears a spooky mask, and he's a mercenary. He's pretty unfriendly, and you might find him cold. But deep down, he's a good person. I know he is. And Satsuna, the sacrifice, is a really good person too. I see. Thank you. I feel much better now. Alright, I guess my mind's made up then. Great! Well, hello there. Finished your private chat? I've had you down as such a ladies' man, Kier. <sighs> I feel sorry for you, old man. I really do. So old and bitter that you feel the need to tease an innocent, honest young man like me. Wait, you're not jealous, are you? What? Of course I ain't. Anyway, it seems it is settled. It pains me to see the village lose such powerful new allies, but it is for the sake of the pilgrimage it cannot be helped. It be helped. Please make sure that no harm comes to them. You don't need to worry about that. It'll be fine. Your little sister is at the Sprite Night Pillar, right? Come on, let's go get her. They didn't join me, did they? Something's gonna happen at the Sprite Night Pillar that they... Yeah, see, because our, our party is full. So technically they can't even join us. I think. <laughs> Unless there are more people suddenly. But I doubt it. Would be weird that we suddenly have like three new ones. Something has happened to the, the youngest. Seeing as you're not used to things yet, you stay back and let us do the fighting. If anything happens, make sure to protect it sooner. Understood. The sacrifice's life should be our utmost priority. Got it. Leave the rear guard to us. Alright, let's go. If there's anything you don't understand, just feel free to ask. Good grief. When did Kier get such enthusiastic? Oh, leave him be. He's just trying to make a good impression. Now then, where's that sister of yours? What? What? What's going on? Whose magic is this? Leaving us behind you wasn't a good idea. You're wide open. You, you don't mean you three, but why? We were after the sacrifice all along. We have cast no magic on you, only out of respect to Tor. I don't care what your reason is, hurry up and let them go. They're my companions, my friends! No, you are being deceived. Humans will never accept us rare bloods. That's not true. Satsuna and Kronax, they all accept me. Dear me, the humans have got you right where they want you, haven't they? The only reason they keep you around is because they can use you. If you were just a regular little boy, they'd get rid of you without thinking twice about it. No! No, that's not true! 
You don't know what humans are really like. They're not like us. They don't accept people who are different. Never, no matter what. We shall take the sacrifice with us. Oh boy. Oh boy. Didn't see that one coming. This is one of these one on one fights. What are you going to do with her? We're going to use her to help us. No, I won't let you. The sacrifice is already destined to die. We're simply going to have her die in a way that helps us. If we combine her life force and magical energy with our own energy, we should be able to destroy the Sprite Knight Pillar and extract the magical energy, energy stored inside it. Wait, what? No way! That's impossible! Only the person who channeled their magical energy into it can extract it again. No, I think it may be way well be possible for us. We're rare bloods like you, except we're much more powerful. Stop it! Please! Why are you doing this? So that we have the power to never succumb to any foe again. Are you that desperate for power? The humans live in fear of the monsters, but they are able to treat us rare bloods with great cruelty. We do not wish to let ourselves be overpowered by wicked humans ever again. They're hidden by our clothes, but our whole bodies are covered in scars. We've suffered more in the hands of humans than you could ever imagine in your worst nightmares. But worst of all, are the scars in our hearts. Those wounds shall never heal. Someone like you who grew up in a cozy little village like this could never understand. You could never understand how much the humans have made us suffer just for being rare bloods. You said that our system was quiet here, but that is not the case. Huh? She is not just quiet. She can't speak. She used to love singing in her beautiful voice. But one night the humans crushed her throat just because her crying irritated them. What? There are Sprite Knight stones that can store our magical energy just like the Sprite Knight player can store yours. The humans used them to control us. So after Tor set us free, we swore to each other that we would never trust humans. We swore that we would never let them or anyone else ever control us again. The two of us both managed to endure our treatment by the humans, but the wounds our younger sister has suffered will never heal. But, but still! Even after hearing all this, you still don't get it. This is why... Wait, what? This... This is why I hate sheltered little brats like you. Please, stop! I don't want to fight you! Please! Please don't make me take lives that my own brother saved! Ha! <laughs> you think you can take us all on alone? We've got hostages too. You don't stand a chance. Stop it! Stay away from them! Stay away from Satsuna! Satsuna's my companion and she's everyone's last hope! If she dies, we're all done for! A terrifying beast is going to destroy the whole world! All the more reason for us to kill her then! Indeed, let it destroy this world and everything in it! What are you saying? Don't you get it? If this world is destroyed, it can be reborn! A new world can be created! One where everyone is equal, and no one is discri discriminated against. We won't let you. <laughs> what an arrogant man you are. Kindly consider your position. We are clearly the ones with the advantage here. Come on, Kia, you should join us. Forget about those evil humans and come with us. We'll create a new future for our people. It is not too late. Join us, Kia. Kurnex, I... Don't forget your duty. Yeah, you're right. I'm part of the sacrifice's guard. No matter what happens, I have to protect the sacrifice. I have to protect Setsuna. That's my duty. I don't know whether humans are good or evil. I don't know who's right and who's wrong. But I do know one thing. No matter how dark the clouds, the sun is always there behind them. Just like the sun, my faith will always be there, no matter how grim things might seem. My faith that one day everyone will live in peace. 
Humans, monsters, rare bloods, everyone. Ha! <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Your pathetic faith is nothing compared to our pain. Our anger. If you're so set on destroying the future, then I'll fight you. I'll stop you, no matter what. Is this a one-on-one -on -one battle? Cancelling out our magic in an instant. I'm impressed, Kiri. However, as long as the three of us are together, you shall never defeat us. Just so you know, since you're coming up with our Trinity attack, we haven't lost a single battle. Not to anyone. Oh, 